Hola. Happy Thursday. Hashtag Thursday Val. Woo, Lord. So, this is my favorite time of year. Cue the sarcasm. So, for many reasons, I'm staying... See, here, here the voice is already cracking. For many reasons, I'm staying... And uh, for somebody who's worried, like, you know, I, I can't watch all the time. I'm fine. I'm staying in for the next couple of days. The body is sore because if you really, really know me or even see me, I don't be pay I don't be pretending that I'm going on these walks. You actually see me doing these walks, and these walks are like like two miles a day. I for somebody my age, it's okay. I give the technology a minute to loop up. It's amazing that the technology can't keep up with me. The AI can't keep up with the AI. Anyway, so along with me being sore, doing more than most people half my age, but they're bad though, but they can hang with me. And you older ones think you can hang with me. You can't even do that walk one time. If you have to take a pill or a drink or get high to like, just get, I, I don't need that. But anyway, the thing I'm trying to say is, uh, not trying to say, just, just get to it, girl, because my mind is in a fog. Because it's pollen season. Welcome to pollen season. You're going to have a lot of people going, you. <coughs> please don't freak out. Please don't let the government freak you out. Please don't let these hospitals freak you out. Please don't let the media freak you out. Pollen season has been pollen season forever. And pollen season in North Carolina, I don't know. I can't speak on other places, but it is holy hell here. It is hell on top of hell. If you are a true allergy sufferer, you already I walked yesterday, and I knew the pollen was moderately high, but you know me. I'm a little bit of a brat. I like to push things, hence the push walk, because just in case, I want to be the person that, you know, can be the rescue or somebody that doesn't need to be rescued, because you don't want to be the person that needs to be rescued in 2023. It wanted to tap out on that. It wanted to tap out of that. You want to be the person that don't need rescue. And so you want to be able to do for yourself as much as you can. That's why I don't need nobody staying with me. I don't want nobody coming to live with me. Don't come and visit me during my birthday season. If you're not giving me gifts, if you're not taking me to my faith, I'm not accepting food from nobody that I don't. This is not the time to just eat random food. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you don't really, really, really know people. Because you, you never know. You never know. That's the point. And the restaurants I go, I if you notice, well, people don't, but those who do, I literally build a personal relationship with the people who I do business with and who I dine with. So I have a personal relationship with my bank. I have a personal relationship with the restaurants I, I go to. I have a personal relationship with my businesses. It's, it's a family thing like, you know, they used to do back in the day because family takes care of family. I understand business is business, but business is even more business when you treat each other with respect and you respect the product you're getting and they respect your business. It's a synergy thing. So, uh, you know, you don't respect my money or appreciate my business or your or your quality is sh shoddy or shabby. Or somebody who's just trying to, like, throw some shade on me can come right on in and toss me under the bus. And you go with that person, then your business goes bust. Well, that was on you. But anyway, back to this allergy thing. I would advise many of you, again, um, lessons of the land. The land. LOL, because I'm having the last laugh. Mother always has the last laugh. That part, it doesn't matter what man or mankind decides. It doesn't matter, well, God this and God that and God, God, and he, 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 he. And they can say all that. Bring that back. Yeah, they can say all the he's they want to. They can bring out, they can build all the bombs they want to. They can literally destroy the earth. Here's the thing. You know what they will destroy when they blow up everything, like erosion and everything? You notice how the earth always survives. It's the people that go extinct. The dog just barked. <laughs> Animals know. So, uh, allergy sufferers, local honey, local honey. I mean, don't go into Walmart and you see local honey and that shit says it's from Colorado. You know you're in North Carolina and Colorado is like a billion miles away. Local honey, you can get at a farmer's market. You know what the farmer's market is around here. In fact, <coughs> I'm going to try to head out there today 
Uh, although I already have a stack of local honey that I'm going to start putting in my coffee. I used to do maple syrup, but now you since the allergy season. Local honey, local honey, look, local honey, 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 local honey from your farmer's market. Tell them Val Jones the O sent you. Local honey from the farmer's market. But I don't help people, though. But I'm jealous, though. But I make everybody pay for everything. I, you know, like, I give you advice and I make you pay. You pay. I give you jewels. I am such a fool. I got to be careful. that That's the kind, that's not, that's kind of like the sad energy. It's not the sad energy, but it's like, why do you do that? Why do you give these people, why do you care? When they clearly don't care. I know, I'm working through it. But, you know, for somebody, the few who have cared. The few. And I know it's one or two. And I appreciate you. I could give about anybody else. Local honey. Because the point I'm making is that it doesn't matter what man or mankind does. It doesn't matter how many guns. It doesn't matter how many bombs. It doesn't matter what. The earth has the last say. She will always say, I, 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 I really almost hate it for you guys, but I really don't because it's such an ego humbling thing. Oh, the masculine ego has to be just broken and made again because you are not even. You have gotten so macho that you have machoed out to the back door. So now your macho-ness is making beta men. You see where two wrongs don't make a right. <laughs> In fact, they clearly make a left. Uh, if you get the math, you get it. But don't get left. So, so yeah, Mother Nature always has to... Uh, I, say, I can't even open the doors right now because it's very windy. It's a beautiful day. Oh, my gosh, it's gorgeous. The sun is gorgeous, and the wind's blowing, and so all the stuff just if you if you, if you see it you already know and there's the stuff that you can't see pollen is real pollen is hell but pollen is for a good thing you just have to like maybe the reason that pollen is so bad is because man and mankind has put so many crazy chemicals that you know what when the land strikes back and that's that when the land strikes back, man just never wins. I don't care how macho you think you are. Oh, come on, media junkie. Come on, super solar sun. What you scared of? Man will say, I have technology. Mother will say, I have everything. Man will say, I have guns and bombs. Mom will say, I have earthquakes, volcanoes, and floods. Who want to fuck with me the wrong way? And you fuck with my daughter, too? The wrong way? And my babies? You're going to pay. But today, we are talking about how to get through the allergy season. Don't go outside. <laughs> this might be a time that you want to mask up for real, for real. This is where actually masking like works. <laughs> you know, ironically. And if by some chance you mask up and those pollen and those pollen particles get through and you still sneezing and shit. There's a proof in that on so many levels about what masks can do. But anyway, though, uh, it's, it's a pollen day and it's going to be so, you know, for someone. Anyway, so for someone, I'm going to, uh, next couple of days, I'm going to be like, you know, stuck in the studio working, which is great and maybe bad for some because that means I'm going to be putting on more epic shows. My creativity is. What? That's why I don't have time to talk to anybody other than us talking here. I don't have time to engage uh, in other people's energies. I'm not doing any. Um, I'm not doing any performing. I'm not doing any radio shows. Birthday season almost like every year for like the last four or five years, and then people wait. You have all year if you wanted to interview me to interview me, and I always say on my birthday season I'm taking off, but you wait all year. To my birthday season when I'm taking off when the energy is supposed to be directed to me. 
Thank you. And you want me to turn around and direct this energy that should be directed to me because it's my C, son. C, son. And you want me to direct some of this energy to you. Like I don't have a clue. And you always do. And just because I let you slip and slide with it, don't think I'm missing it. I just let you slide. But now I'm calling you out. If you want to interview me, wait till after my birthday season. Wait till I'm ready. Wait till energy. Haven't I made you lots of money? They know who I'm talking to. Let's be real. I'm talking to you. I let you do what you do. Because I can find some advantage point. But when I don't find an advantage point, I can let it go. Just like that. Just like with my show. Just letting you know, you can respect my time and my energy and what I can provide. Or you can flip off. And I'll be fine. I know that. And I shall not let you cross my boundaries or my time this time. The baby girl is grown. I own my own. Back to uh, good things so for people with allergies. Local honey, local honey, local honey. And cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot showers. That boosts your immunity system. So, there we go. And since you guys are always on your phone, use your technology to your advantage. Check out the weather and see when the pollen count is high. Because I'm telling you, high pollen count and wind is it's, it's a war. <laughs> but it's got me working. So either way, it's a win-win for me. See, son. See, son. Even NASA can't see sometimes, but that's okay. Anyway, that's it. Thursday Val, uh, So School Cafe comes on tonight. Uh, 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 Legend 107 Radio, Legend 107 Radio, Legend 107 Radio. Shout out to Melvin Jordan, Team Pisces. Woo -woo. Also, Team Pisces, Creative Colorful People comes on later today. With yes. Uh, Cara Blake, another wonderful uh, Pisces radio announcer brother, Creative Colorful People, today at 12. WCOMFM dot org. Yeah, you know, I come through around one twenty. I guess songs have allergies too. It's just a damn shame that we have paid all this much money for technology that doesn't work. Except for killing people. That's what happens when you don't use the safeguards or you don't even care about the safeguards. You just greedy and want the money. greedy and want the money you knew people were going to die and you had to cover it up some way you can prove me wrong would killing me and taking me out prove me wrong or would it prove you right what a dilemma you must be in do we make her a martyr or a friend I said just don't pretend and don't come around for my ends and we'll be fine just do what you do I'm trying to stay in my observing mode. I'm just saying, don't violate on me, and I won't demonstrate on you. But I, I am a military brat, and I will officially do what I have to do. And if you think I'll just be scared and go, oh, I need to, I, I need to call on Jesus. I need my prayer warriors to help me. I've had several times where if I wanted to call on my prayer warriors when I was dying in the hospital, first time in 2020, I was in my house dying seven weeks later. But you all would have had your own thoughts about it. Call your prayer warriors. Prayer warriors would have done shit. And I know that. People love a train wreck. And if you are really the true activist, the true shining star, they want to see you fail. Remember, the so-called Christians are the ones who crucified their own savior. Don't say, well, the Jews killed Jesus, did they? Jews, you don't get a pass. You know what the fuck you've done. You know that Palestinian land is not yours. Greedy people, well, it's biblical. You know what? When you can't tell people shit, mother just shows up and shows out. 2023 is that year. Even I have to, like, I want to go on a nature walk. My body is super sore right now because I have literally done more than most people half my age as far as exercising. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. 
I don't have no fat flabby ass. I don't have like, you know, I don't, I'm not wide out to here. You know, my doctor thinks I'm losing too much weight sometimes, but it's like I just like this thing of being healthy. I have a certain amount of, I have a type. For me, I can't say I have a type in a, I can't say I'm an intelligent hottie for a guy, and then I'm not a, an intelligent hottie myself. You know what I'm saying? You can be hot at any age. It starts in your mind first. You know how you have a lot of people who appear to be so beautiful, but they're wrecked, they're toe up, they're very ugly on the inside. They're very ugly. Their whole life is ugly. And you start to find out they absolutely bring no purpose to your life. None. These are like the flies and the bugs you just swat away. They're not even part your, about your life, okay? But you, you don't even focus on other people right now. Focus on you. Get your health right. Get your health right. Don't depend on the doctor. Don't depend on God. Don't depend on your mom, your dad, your sister, brother. Don't depend on nobody to get you straight. Get you straight. Because that's what this journey is about. You getting you straight. And then learning along the way what can help you. But when you depend on the health, that's where you go wrong. But anyway, all this is just to say with allergy season. <clears throat> Can't do one thing, can't go outside, and the body's saying, don't do it. Mom said, don't do it. And you know, I'm being hard-headed, I'm like, I want to do it. I want to do it. But I just opened up the door, and a woof. <coughs> so I, I'm going to spend all day, you know, like, drinking coffee, chilling, and working on my show. Future shows. I'm getting ahead. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of the game. Things must be changing. I am the change. Anyway, that's it. Happy Thursday. Uh, let me go ahead. A reminder, Soul School Cafe. Why am I burping all of a sudden? A reminder, Soul School Cafe comes on tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Time, whatever it is. Eastern Time. Wait a minute. Speaking of which, Daylight Saving Time. Okay, we're going back to Daylight Saving Time. Wait a minute. Didn't we? Didn't, didn't we? When they did Daylight Saving Time last year, didn't they say it was permanent? Did I like, did I, did I like imagine that? Didn't we have this conversation last year when they did Daylight Saving Time and it was permanent? And we we're like, what the hell, man? Because you just want to change up all kinds of shit because that changes up the algorithm. And now here we go again. Daylight Saving Time is so and so and so and so. These edits are going to be hilarious. Anyway, last year, daylight saving time, we had this commercial. We had this conversation. We didn't like it. We thought it was bogus. We thought you should keep the time as you don't like make daylight saving time permanent, but you did. Now here we go this year, and we're getting ready to go into daylight saving time and talking about making it permanent. But you did that last year. Am I the only person that remembers that? Or am I just being high? Am I just being typical Pisces out of my mind? Am I the only person who remembers the same conversation last year with Daylight Saving Time that they made permanent last year? Because European countries don't even do that. Only America does that dumb shit. And now you're saying we're going to do it again? So you're rolling back the clock again? Like, sir, nobody is, nobody is catching this, but I'm catching it. Time is changing. Your president is a fraud. And I'm just saying, well, y'all mad at me? He's a great guy in base. Remember how I talked about Bush? Both of them. Remember how I talked about Trump? Both of them. How is it that I can have all the freedom of speech in the world about the, all the other presidents? But on this one, what's the agenda? What exactly is the... the got my little Sharpie up. And made a chick. Guiding Bates. Hashtag Guiding Bates. Remember when I used to just say, idiot, and y'all knew I was talking about Trump? Same thing with Bush. Remember when I just used to say, this idiot, and you all knew. The new name for 2023, guiding, hashtag Guiding Bates. What's with the hate? Guyton Bates. What's with the hate? Looks like 
Well, in the words of Momo, doesn't anybody love you? <laughs> you know, you are really, really, really. If you don't see no movie ever, if you see another movie in your life, you really need to. If you read a, if you don't read another Bible, another book of anything, another self help book, self love book, or anything, you need to lay all of that to the side. All of that. I I literally I put my life online with this. I put everything on me on this movie. Momo by John Houston. Momo is is it's a it's it's like it's a Portu it's a Portuguese Belgium film, but it's it has English subtitles. It's nineteen I don't know, nineteen something. Nin nineteen I don't know, ninety six, eighty six, something like that. For the remedial kids who can't read You'd be surprised. You have some adults who are very remedial. No offense to the real remedial kids who are much smarter than these remedial so-called adults or wannabe adults. These teenage, these anxiety kids. All of y'all need to miss me. But you need to see this. But you know what? Don't. I don't give a But Momo will explain everything by John Houston. Not the crazy Asian Momo. Yeah, there's no Asian hate, but it's like, it's funny how some people turn around and something's really good, and then they turn around and make a mockery of it, you know, and this with all races, white people make a mockery of black people all the time, black people make a mockery, as I was saying, white people make mockery out of black people all the time, black people make mockery of themselves, Asians make a mockery out of everybody and each other and women, why do you have a problem with strong women, is it because you're anyway, and uh, the music the craft period and politicians make a mockery out of anything but Momo with John Houston that is the ultimate movie of Venus and Saturn and what is going on right now the love of Venus coming into some area that is they're okay but they clearly have issues but she's just, she seems like she's a little homeless kid living in the rocks, living to herself, living in a shelter of her own, kind of like her own TARDIS. You get me? And Saturn, John Houston, Saturn explains what it all is. And there's a turtle, Cassiopeia. Remember Cassiopeia, the constellation? They're saying, you know how these people in, uh, in, in, in Tower on YouTube, like, they be throwing out names that don't mean shit, but they just throw it because, you know, it's in the script, they throw out stuff. But actually, when I, should, when I throw out some stuff, you can research it and you can find it. 57, and did it, I don't do shit like that. That's so trifling. That's, that's, that's so typical charlatan stuff. You know, you just throw out names. Might be Susie Q, or you, you got a name like Boo Boo Boo, or he he he. That's tri that's trifling charlatan stuff. That's Miss Laura shit like that stuff. I mean, not Miss Laura, but you real ones don't engage in that type of nonsense. That's why, you know, the parents are telling me to push me, pull me off the field. Because I keep giving you guys stuff that's real. And y'all keep wanting to pay the charlatans. Okay, it's my birthday season. Has anybody cash tapped me yet? No, but you're going to turn around and take this content and make it yours. And you're going to ask for donations. That's some shit. And that's going to come back and bite you in the butt. I promise you that. You steal from me. You steal my content, and then you won't even like even even like cash at me a dollar for my birthday for the jewels I give you. But then you want to turn around and ask for donations, you will be cursed, whether you believe or that or not. It's just right is right and wrong is wrong. And we're in a situation right now where right is right is wrong is wrong. And Saturn don't play. Saturn gives no fucks. <laughs> Saturn is not the devil. Saturn is just real about real. Either it is or either it isn't. Either you are who you say you are or you're not who you say you are. And if you're not, you it. That is not the devil. That is Saturn holding the mirror up to your face, saying, look at you. Don't look at God. Don't look at who's around you. Don't look at your hubby. Don't look at your wife. Don't look at your chillin. Don't look at your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Don't look at your community. Look at yourselves. You know why? Because that's the hardest person to change. You. You've been stuck with you. And you don't want to change you. 
you're stuck in a rut because of you. It's easy to blame other people. And I'm not saying other people haven't been accountable in some kind of way. I don't even care about these edits anymore. You know what I'm saying? I don't even care. At the end of the day, it's still on you. That's why anybody who comes to me, and you know doggone well, I know you're not true. Be prepared to be spiritual, Glock. Meant what I said. But back to Momo. <laughs> back to Momo. That's the best thing I can give you today and for the rest of the year. You watch that movie, it will become quite clear. Momo with John Houston and the Time Stealers. The Savings and Loans Bank. The ones with the dead flowers, always smoking the dead flowers, always smoking away the hours, always stealing hours from people's lives, always taking the time, always taking the flowers right away from them, taking their hours right away, taking their lives, taking their livelihoods, taking their businesses. It's right in front of you. I've been telling you, my mother, my ascended mother, my mother, somewhere like in 20, 20 what, 12? No. Yeah. Around then, I never saw this movie before. Saturday morning matinee with mom. My mother. The ch movie. What, what is it? Just watch it. <laughs> Just watch this movie. Momo. Popped up on YouTube. Saturday morning matinee with mom. And I was like, oh my God. That part. Momo with John Houston. It's my birthday season, and once again, I give you the present. And it goes unappreciated, unrequited. Remember that when y'all try to holler at me after my birthday season. Because I'm going to remember it for the rest of my life. Happy Thursday! Soul School Cafe comes on tonight, and it's going to be lit! I'm talking super lit. Remember, I wasn't even sure I was going to even finish the show. And then, and my, well, Saturn says, you can't finish the show? I mean, really? Have we come this far for you, like, not to finish this? You're on the throne now, and you're, like, going to, like, you're going to sleep on your job? Saturn don't play. Saturn is not the devil. Saturn is just... Saturn is just, you know who you are, and you know what you can do. The dumb and do you. I get it. Took 66 years to get it. But I get it. And I didn't land in jail. That's a miracle. <laughs> if you know, you know. Happy Thursday. Gotta go. So School Cafe. I'm just saying this show is going to be lit. Lit my way. Start out. I start out my shows. I and I'm more specifically paid attention to this. I start out my shows, so you don't want to miss a second of it. I start the first song will always set the tone for my show. The first couple of times, and I start out my show so different than anybody. There is not one podcast, no one radio show on this entire planet that's like mine. Not one. If you can find one show, one podcast like mine, I will give you a hundred dollars. That's how sure I am about my shit, my original. And please believe, people will try to copy, but you can't copy energy. As someone says, energy is energy. I don't know what that means because you know you got these young people saying energy is energy, and all energy is not good energy. It's like yeah, cocaine energy is cocaine energy. That's energy too, but nobody wants that. Drunk is energy too, but nobody wants that. So be careful when you say energy is energy. What type of energy? All energy is not your energy. My energy though, no one can copy my energy. No one can copy my show. That's the beautiful thing about being an original, yo. And original since 2007. Independence since 2007. No one, I sponsor me. So no one buys me out. It's the beauty of So School Cafe. Thanks to my husband day one when I was doing this, this is what you need to do. And he saw how the in radio industry, he saw what the industry was doing to me. Or doing to both of us, really. So, because of a legacy, legacy, born to a legacy, married to a legacy, legacy, legacy attracts legacy. So I don't have to 
to deal with any of these sus bros, these sus hoes, these sus people who feel like they want to make a chick submit to like, well, you know what, you know, if you do this, I don't have to do nothing. I can just sit back and do me. If you really know what was going on, you wouldn't be messing with me. You would be supporting me because I'm trying to support you, but really, I don't care. So, so right now, I'm strictly dealing with the military. I know what I said, and I said what I said, meaning that I am, I am engaged with my military, my military brat family. I know that everybody in the military and all military brats aren't like, you know, right. But the ones who are, that's my fam. Because we know. We know. And you need that motivation. You need that energy just like I need that energy too. And you need better music and it's out there and ain't nobody giving it to you. And nobody's going to these clubs because you know what they do. These people don't even see what's coming in summer. They don't even have a clue. But you, I promise, if you got me, I've got you. And you know I see. You know I do. So School Cafe. I am Val Jones, Thursday Val. We're doing it. We're rocking it. We are the revolution. We are the evolution. We are the change that we needed. It's no one else.